Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to walk you through the configuration of custom variables in MobiFlight for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in case none of the presets do what you want. Today we're going to work on the heading autopilot. We're going to see how we can create an event to switch from Manage to Selected Heading Mode. The new MobiFlight version 8.0 comes with native support and this brings exciting possibilities. This new version comes with a new action type called Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 Event and it even supports some features of the A320NX. Ok, so let's dive into it. The first step is to enable the developer's mode. This will allow us to locate the variables we need. So go to Options, General, Developers and make sure the option is on. Next load any scenario and go to Window, Model Behaviors and navigate to the Airbus 320neo interior.xml Ok, now comes the exciting parts because I have absolutely no idea where the variable we're looking for is. You can use the search bar to try and put the keywords that will take you to your uh, variable of interest but I had no luck with the heading so I'll have a look inside Autopilot Group. So here's the list of all the components within the Autopilot Group and I'm trying to find anything related with heading well, good luck. At the end, the knob that controls the heading autopilot is knob autopilot L3 for some reason. I found it because of this part ID that reads autopilot knob heading. Ok, now we need to find a variable that triggers the action that we want to perform. In this case, we see there's a pull code, so that's uh, for the selected mode, and this is linked to this H variable, which is good news because we can access H variables and K events while there are some other types of variables that are not yet accessible as far as I'm concerned. Ok, so now that we have identified the variables we need, you need to navigate to your MobiFlight installation folder, navigate to presets and edit Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 event IDs. Now we need to add the variables we've identified here by either creating a new group or adding it to an existing one. In my case I'm adding it to the Flight Control Unit group. Now access the MobiFlight Event Module folder in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 Community folder, navigate to Modules and edit the Events file. As we did before, we need to add the variables for the push and pull events we identified before. Now you can restart Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and it's time to add the components we will need. As push and pull encoders are quite expensive, I'm going to stick with the cheapest ones I can find and use a momentary interrupter to switch between the selected and the manage mode. So let's navigate to extra settings, MobiFlight modules and let's add two buttons because we already have the encoded from my previous video. So I'm gonna name one button heading push for the manage mode and another button a heading pull for the selected mode. I think the logic behind the Airbus is when you pull the knob, you're bringing the controls towards you, so you have control. So that's the selected mode. Ok, now we're ready to upload the firmware into the Arduino Mega. As you can see, I already have an action, which is the heading encoder I programmed in my other video. The dollar plus minus 182 I was talking about in my previous video doesn't really work because the data format is 2-bit signed, so that's the modification you need to do to make it work. Now I'm going to create a new action and name it Autopilot Heading Selected Mode. As we're talking about the selected mode, we need the pull button. Now we're going to use the MFS 2020 event that we have configured and in my case it's inside the FCU group. It's a bit hard to navigate because this box is not extendable but now we need to select the H variable associated to the pool event that we have previously identified. So in this case A through 20 Neo CDU mode selected heading. Now let's do the same with the push event to enter manage mode. In this case it looks like we need to call two variables the FCU and the CDU in the push event. I have now created a new action and name it Autopilot Heading Manage Mode FCU and I'm gonna link it to this uh, variable. So I'm looking for A320neo FCU Mode Manage Heading. Here it is. 
Now I'm going to do the same with the other variable, which is related to the CDU. Again, we select our board, uh, we go into Push, and now into Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 events in the FCU in my case. And it's cut, but I'm trying to locate A320neo CDU mode manage heading, and here it is. Now make sure everything is active and running and it's ready for testing. I'm using a mom of mom interrupter to switch between push and pull. This is working really well. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for my autopilot panel build and see you next time. Bye bye.